Annie's horoscope is not so easy. She has a sun opposite Mars, so that you know, is that true? Yes, yeah, sun, Mars opposition. This is a sign of somebody who can be very demanding, and it's also opposed to Mercury. So um, I would say she might even have a little bit of a temper. <laughs> but um, her Venus is in Aries, and it just kind of sits alone. There's nothing happening to Venus here. But she also has um, a very good karma shown by the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction and Pluto's in on that. So that to me is a sign of somebody who could have a lot of clout. I call it the kingmaker, the Jupiter-Pluto. It's somebody very ambitious and with Uranus there things can happen suddenly and that's what she did. She just rose out of nowhere and became really famous by going out with Ellen. Now who better to play a lesbian on television than an Aquarius and a Venus? Sun, Sun, Venus, Aquarian, too. Okay, now will this relationship last? Well, who knows? Look at all these trines. They have a nice, cool thing going here. The Venus trine, the Sun is excellent. Trine Mercury, good communication, lots of love and affection. Venus trine Mars is excellent for sex, by the way. Uh, this one, I think, is, is my number one now. This is my favorite one. We also have, you know, Venus, uh, the Sun trine the Sun. So these two are very compatible. They're both air signs. Um, and the moon Venus is also a sign of a loving relationship. Where do the problems come in? We look at the squares. Ellen's Pluto is square her sun. There will be power struggles in this relationship is one thing it says. And also Ellen's Saturn is square her Jupiter. Hmm, this may not be so great for their careers. Right now it's looking pretty good, but down the line I'm not sure. Also there's a Mars square Uranus and this is uh, some, sometimes big fights. I want to tell you a little story. Um, this guy came to me and he asked me to uh, do the charts of his two uh, girlfriends. Uh, friends, just regular friends. And so I was doing the horoscopes and I said, oh my God, these two women could be very sexually attracted to each other. And he says, well, they are. We, we all sleep together, the three of us. And then I looked at the horoscope and I said, oh, but they could fight. And he said, well, they did. One moved out. So, I mean, it's, this stuff um, seems to really work. You know, you can see things before uh, you even know what's happening here. Here's Ellen and Annie together. And we have the Venus Mars square shown in the composite chart. This is not so good. This means there might be some problems, uh, issues about sex and jealousy later on. But the sun sits with Mercury. Uh, up here and who knows what house it's in I don't have the time and so it tells me very good communication and also the Sun with Jupiter these two are gonna live large they're gonna enjoy life and maybe spend a lot of money together